Michaela? Oh my god! Someone get a teacher! She needs help! Uh, I'll go get your mom. Mm. Michaela, how are you feeling? Mm. Uh. Michaela, what a relief it is to see that you're up and okay. With the severity of your injuries, we were concerned with your neurological system. What's your name? Uh, Michaela. What year were you born? 1998. Do you recognize the woman in front of you? Yeah, she's my mother. Well, it seems that your mind isn't as bad as we first thought. Nurses will be in and out today to do some customary blood tests. I just recommend you take it easy. Is she gonna be okay? Mrs. Thompson, we can never say that for sure. And I don't want to give you false hope, but from what I can see, she is doing much better than expected. Thank God. I do recommend rest and don't overcomplicate things with her. With her injuries, who knows how long the recovery process could take. Mm. Whoa, take it easy there. That IV drip's probably gonna hold you back for a bit. You were up for a while. We were all pretty worried there for a bit. Three days. You were unconscious for three days. Uh, your mom left, um, about 15 minutes ago, just to get coffee. She was with your grandmother, I think? If not, this will be really awkward. <laughs> um, yeah, so they were just getting coffee and they'll be back soon. Who are you? The doctor did say that memory loss was highly possible. I'm Stella, your locker neighbor at school. Uh, I didn't really know what happened, but I heard the commotion. So, when I found out, I came down. And I've been waiting to see how you are, so, yeah. You got a lot of I feel sorry for you bears and a few bouquets of flowers. You must be pretty popular. Every day there's more stuff lined up at your locker. I thought I'd bring it in for your mom and for you now that you're awake. <laughs> Do you want me to get a doctor? Do you need anything? Why are you here? Um because I was worried about you? You don't even know me. That doesn't mean I can't worry about you. Did you bring in all those bears? And the flowers too? Yeah, I just picked them up from school. Everyone's really worried. Of course they are. I know you're just trying to be nice, but you don't have to pretend that you didn't buy all this stuff for me. What? I'm fully aware that no one at school cares. So you didn't need to put on a big show and pretend that they do. Okay... I don't really know what to say... So... Look, I'm not trying to be rude, but you don't need to put on a big show and dance. I didn't do any of this. I brought you one teddy bear. The rest of it, I swear, is from people from school. 
If it's so hard to believe they care about you, just look at this, what they wrote in the paper. See? They have nothing but good things to say about you. Do you remember what happened? No, I can't remember anything. The school has video footage of two girls pushing you down the stairs. The school says they've been known to bully other children, but nothing this severe. They're in and out of police custody right now. Since they're underage, they can't legally be held there for too long. But once you're feeling better, you'll be able to stand trial, and they'll probably go away for a while. I don't know if you'd be up for that, but if you do stand trial, they'll be eligible for jail time. Michaela, I'm so glad to see you're up and okay. Yeah, um, I'll get going. Uh, glad you're okay. Hey, um, thank you. It's no problem. How are you, darling? We're so glad you're okay. Oh my gosh. You had us so worried. Dear Diary, sorry I haven't written lately. Somehow, I ended up in the hospital with a major concussion, sprained spine, minor amnesia, along with a few other head injuries, which I forgot the name of. I'm currently wearing a cone around my neck and gauze wrapped around my head, so I look like an alien summoning my people. I don't really want to go into the specifics of what happened, because my doctor says reliving the injuries could cause some type of mental trauma. But, Sarah and Macy pushed me down a flight of stairs. Um, yeah, so that happened. <laughs> On the bright side, the day this happened, I got a new locker neighbor, and she's actually kind of amazing. <laughs> She heard what happened, and she just showed up at the hospital. And she even waited while I was out in a coma for a few days. It's actually one of the sweetest things anyone's ever done for me. She's been here with me almost every day for the past week and a half, and we've really grown pretty close. The feeling of having a friend is a feeling that most people just take for granted, but... For me, it's something a little specialer. The doctor's pretty strict about me moving around too much, so he's probably going to put an end to me writing in my diary, so I'll have to cut this one short. I hope to get released in the next few days. Once I'm home, I'll write again. Until next time, diary.